Today, we're tackling a hot topic, climate change, and more specifically, the myths that cloud our understanding of this global crisis, from the supposed increase in polar bear populations to the effectiveness of renewable energy, we're here to separate fact from fiction. So sit back, stay curious, and join us as we unravel the truths behind the top 10 climate change myths. The Earth's climate has indeed fluctuated over its 4.5 billion year history. However, what we're witnessing now is drastically different. The rapid warming of our planet is unprecedented and cannot be attributed to natural cycles alone. In the past few decades, global temperatures have soared to their highest since records began. This rapid change is a stark contrast to the slow, natural climatic shifts that historically spanned hundreds of thousands of years. So, what's causing this accelerated warming? It's us! Human activities, specifically the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, are releasing enormous amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This increase in CO2 levels, unseen for 800,000 years, is a key driver of the current warming trend. Deforestation is another critical factor. Trees, which absorb carbon dioxide, are being cut down at alarming rates for agriculture and urban development, further contributing to the rise in atmospheric CO2. In summary, while it's true that Earth's climate has changed before, Today's climate change is largely fueled by human activities. It's an urgent issue that demands immediate action to reduce our carbon footprint and protect our planet for future generations. Next up in our myth-busting journey is a statement we often hear. Plants need carbon dioxide. Let's dive into the nuances of this myth. Yes, it's true that plants require carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. However, the current levels of CO2 in our atmosphere are far from beneficial. They're problematic. Why is this? For one, the natural balance is disrupted. While plants and forests do absorb carbon dioxide, there's a limit to how much they can process. And with increasing deforestation, their capacity to absorb carbon dioxide is diminishing. The issue isn't carbon dioxide itself, which is a natural part of Earth's ecosystem. The problem lies in the sheer volume of carbon dioxide produced by human activities, especially from burning fossil fuels. This level of carbon dioxide hasn't been seen for 800,000 years, leading to severe environmental consequences. In essence, while plants need carbon dioxide, the excessive amounts we're currently seeing, mainly due to human activities, are not beneficial but rather harmful to our planet's ecological balance. Moving on to a myth that often causes confusion. Global warming isn't real as it's still cold. Let's unravel this misconception. Many people wonder how global warming can be real when we still experience cold weather. The key here is understanding that global warming refers to the long-term increase in Earth's average surface temperature. This doesn't mean cold weather disappears. Rather, it alters climate patterns globally. Global warming is linked to more extreme weather events. For instance, heat waves and droughts become more frequent and intense. Conversely, it also leads to severe cold snaps and heavier snowfalls in certain areas. This is because the warming atmosphere disrupts our natural climate systems, making weather events more unpredictable and extreme. In short, the fact that it's still cold in some places doesn't disprove global warming. Instead, it highlights how global warming is changing our planet's climate systems, leading to a wide range of weather phenomena. Now, let's address a myth that impacts our perception of urgency. Climate change is a future problem. It's time to understand the immediate realities of this global issue. There's a common misconception that climate change is a problem for future generations. 
However, the truth is, it's already affecting us. Scientists have warned that we have a limited window to act to prevent catastrophic climate consequences. The effects of climate change are visible now. We're witnessing increased natural disasters such as wildfires, floods, and hurricanes, which are becoming more frequent and severe. Climate change is also affecting global food supplies, leading to increased migration, conflict, and disease. These issues contribute to global instability and pose a threat to our survival. In essence, climate change is not a distant threat. It's a current crisis demanding immediate action. This is the biggest environmental challenge of our era, and we're the last generation that can effectively mitigate its impacts. Next on our list is a myth about the economics of energy. Renewable energy is just a money-making scheme. Let's see what the facts tell us. There's a persistent belief that renewable energy is an expensive alternative designed to profit at our expense. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, renewable sources like solar power and onshore wind are now among the most cost-effective ways to generate electricity. The cost of renewable energy has plummeted faster than predicted, challenging the traditional dominance of fossil fuels. In contrast, fossil fuel industries receive substantial subsidies, revealing a different side of the money-making argument. Moreover, investing in renewables is not just about cost efficiency. It's about creating a sustainable future. By adopting renewable energy, we're investing in cleaner air, a healthier environment, and a stable climate benefits that go far beyond monetary gain. Let's now tackle a myth often heard in discussions about wildlife and climate change. Polar bear numbers are increasing. It's time to set the record straight. Contrary to some beliefs, polar bear populations are not increasing. They're in fact facing significant threats due to climate change. The Arctic, the natural habitat of polar bears, is warming approximately four times faster than the global average, leading to the rapid melting of sea ice. This melting sea ice affects polar bears profoundly. It shortens their hunting season, reduces their access to food, and impacts their breeding and feeding habits. As a result, polar bear populations are predicted to decline by 30% by mid-century. This stark reality highlights the urgent need to address climate change, not just for our sake, but for the survival of these magnificent creatures and their ecosystem. Now, let's debunk another common misconception. Renewable energy can only work when it's not cloudy or windy. Here's the truth about the reliability of renewable energy. The belief that renewable energy is unreliable and dependent on weather conditions is outdated. Thanks to technological advancements, renewable energy is more reliable and consistent than ever before. Innovations in energy storage, such as batteries and other methods, allow excess energy generated during sunny or windy conditions to be stored for use during less ideal weather. Furthermore, energy grids are becoming smarter, balancing supply and demand more efficiently. This means that even when it's not windy or sunny, renewable energy systems can provide a stable and continuous power supply. In summary, renewable energy is not just a fair weather friend. It's a dependable source of power for our future. Let's explore another widely held belief. Animals will adapt to climate change. It's important to understand the challenges faced by wildlife in a rapidly changing environment. While it's true that adaptation is a natural process, the current speed of climate change is pushing many species to their limits. The rapid changes in temperature and habitat are too fast for many animals to adapt. This is compounded by human-made barriers like cities, roads, and dams, which hinder their ability to migrate to more suitable environments. 
Some species are adapting, but for many others, the pace of change is too rapid, leading to decreased populations and even extinctions. The real story is not about whether animals can adapt, but whether they can do so quickly enough to survive the drastic changes in their habitats caused by climate change. Now let's discuss a rather extreme myth. Getting rid of humans will fix this. It's crucial to understand the role we play in both causing and solving climate change. This myth suggests that humanity is solely a negative force for the planet. However, the truth is more complex. Yes, human activities have significantly contributed to climate change, but this doesn't mean our extinction is the solution. Instead, What's needed is sustainable human development. We have the technology and knowledge to shift to renewable energy, adopt sustainable practices, and use our resources responsibly. By making these changes, we can reduce our environmental impact and even begin to repair some of the damage done. The key lies not in our absence, but in our informed and responsible action. While it's true that China is one of the largest greenhouse gas emitters, climate change is a global issue that transcends national boundaries. Every country, including the major economies, contributes to the problem and thus has a role in the solution. In recent years, China has made significant investments in renewable energy, demonstrating a growing commitment to addressing climate change. This myth oversimplifies a complex issue and overlooks the collective responsibility of all nations to reduce emissions and invest in sustainable solutions. Climate change demands a global response, with every country, community, and individual playing a part. And that brings us to the end of our journey through the world of climate change myths. Thank you for joining us on SciQuest as we explored and debunked these common misconceptions. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to protecting our planet. If you found this video enlightening, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Together, we can spread awareness and inspire change. Until next time, stay informed and keep making a difference. Goodbye and take care.